Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for the month of April. And it feels like I haven't done one of these in forever. I don't know when the last time I did a monthly favorites, but I do have some items that I've been loving for the month of April. And I wanted to share those items with you guys, so let's jump right in. So the first item that I have for you guys is a pair of earrings that I got from Kendra Scott. And this is what her packaging looks like. It's so pretty. It's like a teal green looking color. But the earrings themselves are blue. How gorgeous are these earrings? Oh my God. These are amazing. Um, I do have a blog post that are going to be featuring these that I like fell in love with them. But these earrings are so pretty. I actually got these in a monthly subscription box from Rock's Box. And it's amazing. So basically it's like, um, I don't know if you guys have seen like those subscription things they have for like Etsy has one they have one for lingerie they have them for everything but I checked out rock box and this is what the box looks like so my earrings came inside of my rocks box and this is also a monthly subscription for jewelry so you're able to wear the jewelry try out the jewelry if you like any of the pieces that are included in your monthly box you're able to buy them but if you don't you can always ship them back and you'll get another box each month now there is a monthly fee for this but it was amazing. So you guys know that I have a beauty and fashion blog and I always take fashion pictures and beauty pictures and things like that. So I have a ton of jewelry that I don't even wear anymore. So for me this is ideal because I'm able to get different pieces each month, figure out what I like, what I don't like. And they actually customize this box for me. They have a stylist for me who picks out different pieces and she'll include them in my rocks box each month. And I'll wear them, I'll style them, if I love them I'll buy them, if not I can send them back and I'll get another shipment of jewelry the next month. So I'm really liking the rocks box and again my earrings came out of this box and if you guys want to get more information on rocks box I'll leave a link in the description box. I also have a promo code for you guys if you want to check them out. I have a free month for you guys to check out rocks box and they're amazing so check the description box for more information on rocks box. I also have one of my fitness favorites. I have a video on this coming up soon, but I had to include this in my monthly favorites because this thing has like literally like saved my outdoor workouts because I have to take my phone, my keys, my chapstick, I have to take my earbuds, I have to make sure I have all this stuff and my gym clothes don't have that many pockets. So this is the flip belt and I am like loving this thing. Basically it's a belt that I can take all of the items that I mentioned before, phone, chapstick, everything, and I can put them inside of this belt. They have these little slits in here, and I have one, two, three, four compartments that I'm able to put items in, like my phone. Well, I don't have my phone, but I'll just say chapstick. So you're able to put your chapstick in here, and it holds everything for you, money, anything that you would need, it will hold. It also has a little thing for your keys. So basically, you wear this belt around your waist when you're working out, you're walking, you're running, and everything stays in place. You're able to take all those things with you, and it doesn't, like, rise up while you're walking. So you're able to run, walk with this without the products falling out or, you know, fall on the ground, without holding them in your pockets, but... It's also, it's bounce proof. So if you're running, for instance, it doesn't like bounce around. This thing is amazing. So I had to add this to my monthly favorites because I'm loving it. Also, um, I have a new perfume that I wanted to share with you guys. This smells so yummy. It is ridiculous. I actually got this in a sample that I got from Ulta when I was doing the 21 Days of Beauty. They sent the fragrance samples. And I normally don't, I'm not really like one of those girls who like has every perfume and has all those scents like scents and perfumes they're pretty like the bottles are pretty to look at but I'm not like an avid collector of fragrances so I was just like okay I'll open it so when the sample came so like I'll smell it but I'm like uh, whatever but I opened it up and when I tell you this stuff smelled like pure candy and I'm a candy girl if you guys don't know it smelled like cotton candy licorice gummy bears I don't know it just smelled so sweet and I was like okay I gotta try it. So I went to Ulta and I picked it up. This is what it looks like. This is called Pink Sugar. And I actually got the largest bottle that they had because it smells that good. I wore it one day and my husband, I walked past my husband. He said, wait, what do you have on? And he literally sniffed me up and down like a dog. TMI, but he did. And when he started doing it, he's like, oh my God, you smell so good. 
I ran to the store and got a girl. Okay. So I got the largest bottle that they had. I think it was around $54, something like that. Maybe 48, but I had like um some Ulta rewards points. So I really don't remember exactly what the total cost was because I got like nine dollars off because of my rewards. But this is like this is amazing. If you like sweet smells, this is definitely for you. It smells so good. So love this. Also, I have some beauty products for you guys. And this is actually a e.l.f. powder brush. And I've been using this to apply my liquid foundation. I actually used it this morning. That's why it's dirty. I'm sorry. But I did use it to apply my foundation today. And this brush is amazing. It was $3. I got it from Target. And you guys know that I'm like an avid collector of makeup brushes. This is like one of the best foundation brushes that I have. And again, it's only three bucks. It's like from their Pro Series. They have white brushes that are a dollar. And then they have the three dollar brushes that are in black. This is amazing. I'm actually going to get another brush to add to my makeup kit. This is like a must have for me. I've been using this brush all month and this is like the perfect foundation brush. It buffs out the foundation so smoothly, but then it doesn't, it doesn't like, you know, soak up the product. This is like a must have for me. You have to have this in your collection. So again, this is the e.l.f. powder brush, but I use this to apply my liquid foundations and it's a must have for me. Also, I've been trying out the new foundation by Black Opal. It's the True Color Pore Perfecting Foundation. I have it in the color Truly Topaz. Now, when I first tried it, I wasn't sure how I liked it, but I've been using it over the last month. And I really do like the coverage that this foundation gives me. It is a full, it's a medium to full coverage foundation, but I really like it because it blends really well into my skin and it settles very well. Um, it doesn't really oxidize. It's really true to color, but once it really soaks into your skin, it's a really flawless finish. I don't really need a lot of setting powder. I am oily, so I do set anyway, but I don't need to use setting powder with this foundation. And I didn't use my Benefit Professional, and this is really, really well, this works really well for anybody who have enlarged pores due to acne or anything like that. This is a really good foundation to try. So this has definitely been the foundation for the month of April. I really do like it. I picked this up from CVS. As far as I know, CVS is the only place that you can get Black Opal products outside of ordering online. So I picked this up from CVS and it was about $14. Next is, next is actually I'm going to show you a lipstick. This is the number 650 from Maybelline. Oh my gosh. Ding dong. So this is actually, this next product is a lipstick. So I'm really a lip gloss girl. I prefer lip gloss over lipsticks. But I've really been getting into these matte lipsticks and lip stains lately. So I picked up a couple of the Maybelline matte lipsticks. And the color that I have been loving has been 650 in its new Embrace. That's actually the color that I have on now. And this is the lipstick. Again, it's number 650. And I've been loving this lipstick. Again, it is a matte finish. Sometimes I do put some gloss on top of it because I'm just so used to doing that. But I really do like this shade. Um, I have one of these inside of my makeup kit. So I've been using this a lot with my prom looks. And it has been working out fine. You can use this with a different color lip pencil if you want to, like, you know, mix it up. But this has been my go-to lipstick for the month of April. I really do like their the Maybelline's new matte lipsticks. I have three of them, but I'm really loving this one. Also, recently I went to iMats and I picked up this eyelash holder. And I had to add this to my monthly favorites because, first of all, it's cute, obviously. But it has really been helping me. I have eyelashes all around the house. And it's funny because one day I had an eyelash on the floor and I thought it was a spider. And I freaked out. And then I realized it was my Ordell Wispies. So, <laughs> I'm able now to hold my eyelashes in a place that is safe, secure. I'm able to use them again and not scare the kids. So, this is my eyelash holder. I currently have two pairs of lashes in here now and I basically just hold it onto my makeup vanity. I just kind of toss it there but I have really been loving that thing. I've only paid $5 for it and I got it from LadyMoss.com. I got it from Lady Moss. Um, she was at IMS but you can order from online. I'll have a link in the description box where you can check that out but I really love that thing. It was only like 5 bucks. They also have more on eBay and Amazon too but I love that thing. And I have actually one more product for you guys. This, well, I have two. I almost forgot one. 
So again, you guys know that I'm an avid collector of makeup brushes and I've been really recently doing a lot of freelancing as far as makeup is concerned. So for me, this is like an essential and it's definitely a must have for anybody who loves makeup and is into makeup. You have to have clean brushes. I cannot stress that enough. I was actually talking to a girlfriend of mine and she's like, oh yeah, girl, I ain't clean my brushes in I don't know how long. What? 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 You don't clean your makeup brushes? You know how much bacteria is in a makeup brush? I'm getting sick. I'm getting sick. So anyway, so for me, this has been a must-have for me. It is the Moda Professional Brush Cleaner. I have two of these. This is the one that I have at home. And this is really good. This is definitely the equivalent of Cinema Secret. But for professional use, I like to use Cinema Secrets because that's a trusted brand. I've been using them for a while and that's what I actually have at work and in my makeup kit. Cinema Secrets, but this is definitely the equivalent to it. This is by Moda Studio. Again, this is the 32 ounce and I paid $25 from this. You can get this from Nigel's Beauty Emporium, which is also online. But again, Amazon, eBay, everybody has brush cleaners, so definitely get one of these. But my monthly favorite, like my ultimate favorite for the month has been this new brush soap um this is called korean xander and this is their sponge and brush soap now you have beauty blenders you have makeup brushes this is really good to clean your brushes and it is natural it's for natural and synthetic fibers it's sulfate free and number one is antibacterial you have to have something that's going to remove the bacteria from your brushes not only clean them but disinfect so the one that I'm going to be showing you I have two of these but my favorite for the month has been the mango first of all it smells super good mango but this is the actual brush cleaner it comes in a bar and basically what I do where's my brush let's grab one so basically what I would do I'll wet the brush take this it's clean and I will just go in circular motions and then I will wring it out so I'll just squeeze the excess water and product out, rinse it again, sit it upside down, let it air dry. It really does not take a lot to clean your makeup brushes, but I have really been loving this for my beauty blenders because for me, I have to really, like really, really clean those because I get a lot of foundation and concealer stuck into them. So this has been really great for cleaning my beauty blenders. If I can find a link for this exact one online, I will. But because I picked this up at a makeup show, it might be hard for me to find. But if I can't find this particular one, I'll find something that is the equivalent to it. But I really do like this makeup soap. It's amazing. So that's it guys for my monthly favorites for the month of April. I know I am uploading this video kind of late, but better late than never. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I'll talk to you guys soon.